You like it? Yay! All right, let's see it. You can see that clearance right there. Awesome. And now your seats will fold up. That's gonna give you clearance from the door and clearance to the back seat, these two chamfers. big reveal. So the way this is going to work is the panel number three will fold down onto panel number two and then panel number two will fold up. Now inside the car the ceiling is here that's why we had to cut that into half so as you pass the ceiling you can then bring back out panel number three and lay it down like that. It's awesome. This is the base structure panel number one and it has two two by eights which are like skates this is what we're going to slide in and out on and then we didn't put a two by eight here because it would just cause problems with it sliding and also um it'd be heavier it would it could fall fold over but this two by four keeps it stable uh horizontally like that and then this is the end that the bins slide in on. And then we store this right here. And the chamfer keeps it from hitting the back of the seat, as well as from hitting the, the hatch when it comes down. Okay. Because the buckle is on the wheel well, five and a half inches from the end of the uh, two by eight. So panel number two will be in this position and it's resting on a, a lip that we created with that two by four. And the pin will come in and it'll engage this hole here. And that's what's gonna keep this in place. Has the lip uh, screwed on with this. This nylon bushing will be glued into a hole in, in the side of this uh, cross beam. And, um, and here you can see the chamfer uh, lands on the rubber weather mat. So we're gonna drill a hole right about here for that to go down. These are just temporary screws to hold this in place while we drill the holes for the hitch pin. Cause we don't want it moving because of the overlap. I'm going to go an inch and a half in and then to hit the middle of this 2 by 4 I'm going to go three quarters of an inch in from this direction. So an inch and a half by three quarters. This drill has a level so the bubble is in the middle of the circle. It's really super important that you go straight in and stay perpendicular. So I'm going to watch that bubble as I drill this down. You gotta make sure it goes deep enough that you get into the 2x4. It felt right there, I can feel it. And then let's check it. I'm gonna put my finger right here to measure how far it went down. And yeah, we're well into the 2x4, so that's good. We used the half inch bit to make the large hole in the 2x4 to fit the bushing. And I'm gonna clear it out with a 3 8 The 3 8 bit is the same thing we used in the top of the plywood. I like the unit dose uh, glues, so that way my whole glue thing doesn't dry out when I'm not using it. And Gorilla is one of my favorites. And so we're gonna put, here, this is the bushing, I'll give you the part number. And we're just put a little bit of glue on this thing so it doesn't pull out. Uh, this hole was a half inch. It's a little tight. It's a little tight. I, don't, I really don't want to crush it. There we go. Plenty of room. Perfect. 
so there's enough clearance in the bottom of the hole for this ball to clear to clear the sleeve like that that's what you want put a little gap there to give it some room and what's really super important with this is number one that we get this flush and that the hinge isn't uh, isn't at an angle to the to the board because the two hinge lines have to line up chose this style because it was the narrowest one we could get and so if you're sleeping on this you'll uh, less likely to hit the have this in your back fit checking just did the fit check inside the car we found a little problem this corner is actually because the inside of the ceiling is curved this corner and the corner over there is hitting so we're just going to take a, a little bit off The hole was right where we wanted to put the hinge. So if you're doing it, I recommend you move the hole in more and move the hinge more to the outside. 